Welcome to Celebrity b and This week, I'm hiding in the shrubs and behind the hedgerow of a, a Yorkshire, the Yorkshire Prince, the Prince of the Yorkshire Dales, the, the King of Evening TV. This week, I'm peeping through the window and rummaging in the cupboards of the one, the only, Mark Chanuk. And Tez is here by my side, gives a nod. That's your lot from Tez. And we're gonna, we're gonna start, we can start this week at the front door. Because I've noticed that it seems like this is quite a nice area. So there's a good chance the door's not on the lock. We're in. Fantastic. Now as we enter the property, we do notice the wallpaper. And it has to be said, grey, various shades of grey diamond wallpaper. Not my cup of tea. Not something I would personally go for. But the doormat is nice. It's a simple, rustic doormat. And you wouldn't expect that from a from a gentleman who seems to be fascinated by all things uh, zombie and sci-fi, would you? You wouldn't you wouldn't think it would be true, but he's got quite a classical home. Now there is a little door here. We're going to open this little door under the stairs, and inside there's there's a little bit of movie paraphernalia. There's uh, there's old cups from. I presume from cinemas, they've got various cartoon characters on the top of them. You know, like Iron Man and um, Spider-Man and, and, you know, the other variants of men in costume. Hopefully, we might see a woman in costume at some point through the visit. Now, I am going to go and have a little look over here because... This has took me fancy, this. This is a nice, nice bit of stained glass, this. I haven't got a clue what it's of. It's, this definitely seems to be something going on. Because there is a, there's a definitive pattern through it. But, I, I just, I love a bit of lead work. I don't know if I've told you this before, but I do. I love a bit of lead work. You, you can't beat a bit of lead work. And, there's no better bit of lead work than what you get in a stained glass window. Now, it's got all different shades of red, green, and blue. It's it's kind of like a Makora smashed into some glass, and then it's been lined with lead. Now, it doesn't look like a parrot, and um, I think we'll leave it there, but it's, it's a lovely piece of, uh, of work, that. A lovely bit of glass work. I wish I knew the technical term for glass work, because it is nice. If it was a vase, you could say it was a lovely bit of blowing, but I'm not here to be a linguist. I'm just here to have a nosy around a celebrity's house. Now, let's move on into the living room. And in here, we've got... We've, there's a three-piece suite, which is unexpected, because I always anticipated this fella would live on his own. But he, he, he mustn't do. Um, we'll do the average testing of the couches. Just give me a moment. Right, I'm back. The couches are, are relatively comfortable. I do like them. This, uh, he must be. You get the impression he is a tall guy, because I'm able to lie down on all of the couches, and I am, you know, I am five foot seven, uh, plus a little bit more, and I, 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 a fair bit more to be. I'm six foot. And I can lie down on all of the couches quite comfortably. It's not even like it's pushing my heels into the arm and my, my, the scalp of my head into the other arm. It's just nice. He's not got one of them couches that's full of cushions, though. So I'm guessing there might not be that much of a female presence around the house. I, I, I'm not too sure. We'll, we'll have a look at some photographs and we'll see what we can muster. So there's no photographs in the living room. Um, I think I did notice some though on the hall by the bowl. There was a little bowl, and, and maybe it's you know one of them. Maybe he has them types of parties, you know. And that's why he's got an empty bowl. Maybe it's not empty of an evening, you know. Uh, but that, we're not here to judge. We're not here to judge or cast dispersions. Um, by the bowl though, there was a photograph of of Mark, uh, and he's he is surrounded by women actually and uh, it's it's a lovely photograph he comes out well in it and the women all seem to be above legal age you know um they're all quite attractive even even the larger lady has, has got a good face to her you know she's a she's a bit of a big unit big piece but there is a there is a nice there is a nice glow about her i've got to say um 
Now let's go and have a nosy, mosey on, a mosey and a nosy, we'll call this segment, as we move our way into the kitchen. Now, it's, it's quite nice. There's a fire red fridge, which is, is what you would expect of, of Mr. Chanuk, you know. He's a man of distinction, a man of class. He's gone for the expensive fridge. Now, it's nice to see that there's no ice dispenser. I'm not a big fan of an ice dispenser on a fridge. I just think it gets in the way. It's an extra job, isn't it? It's a little task. You've got to fill it with water. And some of these posh people have them plumbed in to the, to the, to the wall, which I think is a farce. It's, it's not something you need. You can buy a bag of ice for a pound. It's, you're not saving any money, are you? If you can afford a fridge like this, you can afford a bag of pre-made ice. You know, put some money back into the economy. And that's what Mark Chanuk's doing here. Because he, I'm guessing he's an ice man. You know, not to say he's cold, but I think he is probably an ice man. And, well, let's have a look in the oven. It's a bit dirty. I'm not going to lie to you. It is a bit dirty. There's, there's no food on the bottom, though. It looks like it gets picked out and cleaned, but it could do with a bit of the, you know, some of that pink stuff in there, a bit of elbow grease, uh, literally and metaphorically, to, to lift off some of this um, some of this greasy residue here. Let me just... I'm just going to pause the recording while I wash my hands. And I'm back. So, I'd, obviously, I don't use their tea towels. You know, I'm not here to interfere. I am just here to have a look around. He doesn't know I'm here. No one knows I'm here other than Tez. And you guys now, in retrospect, know that I was here. You know, I was here. And uh, I'm not even going to go and breathe on the mirror in the bathroom and leave a weird little cryptic note. Uh, I'm definitely not doing that. That's definitely not me that's done that in anybody's homes. I, I would never think of doing such a thing. I don't want to creep people out, especially in the bathroom with all those wet surfaces where they could just fall over. Now... There was no downstairs bathroom in here. It seems to be quite a... It's quite a, a comfortable, cosy house. There is a dining table, which I haven't mentioned. It's nothing spectacular, so we're just going to leave it there. The chairs are all right, though. I do like the chairs. They've got a bit of a woven pattern in the back, but it's not actually woven. It looks to be carved. It's like a relief carving in the backrests. It's, I quite like that. doesn't go with the table, mind. It's not really my cup of tea. Now let's move on upstairs. Now upstairs, the stairs themselves, fantastic. Looks to be a, a solid wood uh, staircase, which is becoming a staple in celebrities' houses, I've noticed. It's, it's, very, it's a very fancy thing that they seem to have. But he's actually got a, I believe it's called a train. Uh, it goes up the stairs through the middle. Uh, chew, chewing its way through the, uh, the wood, if you like. I think that's why they call it a train, because it, it's tucked into the bottom of each step, uh, so it's not a trip hazard as well, I presume. Now, sometimes on pictures, you do see, you, you sometimes you'll see, you know, the, uh, the, the brass bars that they push in to the, to the bottom of the stairs. These don't seem to have had that. These don't seem to have had that at all. There's not even any tax on it. Now, it is like, it's always nice to run up a flight of stairs. Uh, obviously, because we've taken our shoes off, because this carpet here is cream-coloured up the staircase. And uh, Tez has insisted that we bring slippers to the houses now, which I think is a bit of an health and safety risk, to be honest. Because if we do get caught, it means we either leave the slippers or we run around in flipping flops, you know, flipping shoes that no grip. Yeah, you've got to squeeze your toes to hold them in. But, as a means of welcoming him into the fold, seeing as our other guy left, and I'd been working with him for years, it's just he couldn't handle the, he couldn't handle the recording equipment and the camera. But we're here, and it's, uh, it's, we, we're in our slippers, and we're moving up the stairs. And I'm very surprised to see that there's a, there's a framed painting of the guy that used to play Ashley on Coronation Street, which reminds me, he might be in the pipeline for an episode a little bit further on. Um, we've got to do a bit of reconnaissance still, me and Tess, but he, he might be in the pipeline. Now, there is, uh, there is some other strange bits as we're going up the stairs here. And I have noticed that it's quite warm. It's warmer as we get upstairs. And I'm starting to notice why. The walls seem to be clad, uh, some of them with uh, tongue and groove, which has been painted quite dark. 
and then these little sort of black stars, big black stars cut out of it with various cartoon characters looking like they're emerging out of it. It's a bit weird. It's not my cup of tea. It's been a very strange house so far, but it is quite homely still. It does feel quite homely. Uh, this... We've we've noticed as well because uh, Tez keeps tugging on me shirt and pointing at it. The the loft hatch is is open, so we are gonna have a quick look up there and uh, see what he's got there. And I it's it's amazing to be honest. He's got a pool table. I've never understood how these people get pool tables up to the roof of their house. You know, because that's in everything that obviously it takes it bit by bit, piece by piece, you know, uh, one bit at a time and all that nonsense. But it's still quite in everything to have hanging over your bed or over your loved one's bed. And I say it's not something I would do. I, I don't I, I don't trust the insulation of my house to even be able to hold up anything more than my Christmas decorations. And there's no Christmas decorations in this house that I've noticed. So maybe he buys them each year or just rents them from work or they lend them to him. Because they'll have used all of theirs up at work by the end of July. So when Christmas rolls around, I suppose they need somewhere to put them. So maybe they give them out to the longest serving members of cast. I, I'm not too sure how it works at the old Emmerdale, uh, Emmerdale Farms, you know, it's, it could be something like that. Now the bedroom, we'll go back down and we'll have a look in the bedroom, I think we've got time for probably just for a master bedroom and to see if he's got an ensuite or not. Okay, so th he's got a big, uh, big heavy door as you're going into the bedroom and it's got what feels like a garden latch on it and that's, there's some form of machine, I don't know what the machine could be though, Uh I'm going to have to go and have a quick look and a quick inspection. It's It's got a screen on the top of it and a lot of percentage marks and pictures of water. Uh, Tess, Tess seems to know what it is. Uh, just a second. I'm going to have to pause it. I'm just going to have to double check this on my phone. Not that I bring my phone with me to things like this, uh, but I am going to have to somehow double check and maybe search for some of Mark's reference books to see what this thing could be. Uh, just a second. Just a moment, people. Uh, uh, Tez, Tez and the, 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 the reference books says it's actually a dehumidifier so there must be a problem with damp in this house which isn't a surprise because we are surrounded by moorland uh, moorland, maybe moorland uh, moorland and you can shake a stick at <laughs> you like that Tez uh, it's, 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 it's just been a lovely bedroom this it's, uh, it's quite a low down bed which is surprising from such a tall gentleman. I've always thought taller people want taller beds, you know, to save on the back, where, especially if that photograph from downstairs is anything to go off with, with him and all them women. Uh, but, you know, now, again, as always, we're not going to rummage through the drawers. We don't need to know about any, you know, uh, particular foreign correspondence, if you like, any, you know, that, that they may or may not have within the bed drawers, bedside cabinets in that. And there's no en suite. Just a uh, just a cloakroom. It's uh, it's it's actually full of suits, which I assume he wears to his many many award victories. And that's that's all we've got time for, guys. We're gonna have to go because our uh, our reconnaissance has told us in the past that he's he's we've got about an extra fifteen minutes to leave the area because we don't want to be seen by him on the way because they might think that's a bit weird. What's this fella doing down we drive? Because obviously we don't drive here. We have to walk, and hopefully. If all's well and good, we'll see you next week. Thanks for listening to Celebrity B&E.